great. Good one. Yeah, yeah. good. Ladies and gentlemen, loyal viewers, we're here at Box Hill City Band. We have just, I have personally just had the fantastic pleasure of listening to the band's second last rehearsal before second the competition. La uh, second la no, we've got another one in... in uh, third last third rehearsal. Last rehearsal. Joined here by Chris Yuri. Thank you. The very, very famous soprano oh. cornet player. Is that, is that what's going on? Uh, I am playing soprano cornet. No doubt. Sounds fantastic, don't you think? I, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and what what are your musical highlights, upcoming musical highlights with the band on stage? Is there a piece? Is there a note? Are you sweating on anything? What should people listen out for? Yeah, I'm definitely sweating on a few things, but the um, I think Penley is a real. I really like the piece. It's not too hard, but it always got, helps. But it's really effective. Yep. Um, really, some good chances for musicality. And I think the band's playing it pretty well. Simon Brown's conducting it sensationally. Yes. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to go all right with that piece. Yeah. Fantastic. And speaking of the band, Box Hill Band's been on the up. And yes. where are they and what are they doing now? Going strong in big yeah, rate we're and back. having good fun? We're back. Yeah, we're having a great time. Excellent. Yeah, the uh, band, putting the band back together was good fun. Uh, we've got a few people here who've never played in brass bands before in their lives. Do you think they're enjoying it? Are they going yeah, to stick on with they it? Are. Yeah, we've got a um, couple of tuba players who've never never played in a brass band before. And are they going with the whole treble clef, bass clef? Thing? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell it? Can you, is there anything wrong to your ears? No, no, no. They're pretty smart guys. I don't know why they play tuba, but they um, they're, they're they're definitely overqualified to play the tuba, yeah, and yeah. so playing in treble clef is pretty easy. Yeah. And what would you say to the many hundreds of thousands of people watching this right now who who might be wondering why should they join a brass band because they may not have played in a brass band before? What are the benefits of playing in a brass band? Oh, good to play with a good bunch of guys. We've got a definite policy here of having all good guys in the band. Good guy policy. I've heard a lot about yes, that of recent that's, times. That's yeah. it. We, it's sometimes called other things, but good guy policy is yeah. a good one. Uh, yeah, you get to play with good guys and uh, go travelling, drink together, eat together. All sorts of things together. What fun that can be it's doing be stuff fun. together. Yeah. And tell me, um, Box Hill City Band on the march, on the Parade of Bands, the street march, world famous for being absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Change of direction, special points for entertainment. Personally, what's your role in this entertainment? Um, the entertaining part could be watching me try to change direction. Uh, John Kelly. Noted. John Kelly is always very specific about his marching drills and... Um, and have, you, have you done a lot of marching practice? We've done some marching practice. A lot of? Depends what you compare it to. Um, I think compared to some bands, we've done a lot. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Very good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's, you know, there's more to be done. We've got marching this Sunday. He didn't tell the rest of the band at rehearsal just then, but it's definitely going to be in there. So it could be a ploy, yeah. I think, oh, for, for that. sure. Band. Yeah, hopefully it rains. And what's coming up for the band after Nationals? Is there anything um, that people out there should look out for the band? Any big events? Some smaller concerts? CD releases no, in the world? No CDs. Oh, we got we, we could release the other CD. We've we've already done a CD. Oh, it's in the can. And we yeah, it's in the can. <laughs> we could uh, post release it. Yeah. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, definitely. The local um, community who want to come out and support the Box Hill oh, City Band. Where can they where can they see you next? Um, where. We'll probably be doing the uh, state championships, hopefully. Fantastic. Uh, apart from that, we haven't got anything planned. So Definitely a bit looking of Looking for bookings? Looking for bookings. Oh, if you're looking course. to book a brass band, yeah, a Box yeah, Hill yeah. City Band. Yeah, call John. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Chris, thanks for having a chat. Thank you. Look, oh, good luck on stage. Hope that all your notes go really yeah, well. Yeah, I'll take a big breath and blow. It's for the best. Thanks okay. very much. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the most famous of all percussionists here in the Box Hill City Band Room Hall right at the moment. It's Broden Ford. Broden, how are you? I'm very well, thanks, Tim. How are you? I'm sensational. Wow. That sweatband is really bringing out your eyes. How do you how do you feel about looking at that extra little bit special on stage? Well, I, I, just, I just feel so much more confident about my abilities to perform. Mm. And, um, you know, I think it's it's really going to bring my, uh, my performance to the next level. And... Um, you know, it, no matter how nervous and how, how sweaty I get, you know, uh, whew, it's, it's all gone and we're ready to go. Absolutely. Because, you know, as a percussionist, you probably work harder than anyone else in the band, like moving around and hitting stuff. Does that sweat sort of dripping down your arm make a difference to your performance from time to time? Oh, for sure. I mean, it sticks get pretty slippery. I mean, it's like doing a, a full gym workout at the back. Full marathon, some would say, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're moving around so much. Our, our arms are always moving out it does it is sweaty work so uh i mean this is important uh, apparel for us to be wearing on stage excellent and broden how many bands are you playing with these nationals 
I'm playing with four bands. Can you tell us who they are? There are uh, there's Box Hill City Band, there's Darabin City Brass Preston Band, there is South Brisbane Federal Band. Feds for Life. Feds for Life. <laughs> and uh, Geelong West Band as well. Right. And which of those bands is your favourite? How are you finding moving between the different bands? Is there a sort of a big culture shift between the different bands? I mean, there are A-grade and B-grade bands there, but is it sort of, do you feel like you could transplant a few of the plays into any of the bands and it's all pretty good? Uh, yeah, the, 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 all, all those bands have their standout players and things. That the big cult, culture change, I suppose, is just, uh, you know, the amount that some of them rehearse. Um, you know, some of them are pretty chilled out and others, uh, n you know, not so much. Yeah. It's uh, pretty full-on schedules and things, but um, but uh, it's, it's been a real fun lead-up. I haven't seen Feds yet. I'll be there on Monday. So uh, He's sounding great. He's sounding great. He's hitting <laughs> stuff real well. I promise I'm practicing. It's all good. We're, but uh, I'll, I'll see you on Monday. And uh, yeah. And is it tricky when you're there at the competition, if you're playing with four bands, just to know when you have to be on stage, when you're in the warm-up room, what percussion gear is where, which hall you're in? Is that a stressful thing for you? Or are you just sort of used to used to rolling like that? Uh, you're kind of used to it, and it, but it's actually, my schedule works out ridiculously well this time around. It's one to the next, and then half an hour gap to move from one hall to the next, and then and I'm on again. So it's a, it all works really well, so um, no complaints from me. Excellent. Well, Broden, best of luck with all of your bands, and I do hope the Sweat Bands assist your performance. Thanks for having a chat. Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the musical director, conductor in chief of the Box Hill City Band, Maestro Simon Brown. Maestro, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, and thank you for that uh, rather amazing introduction, Tim. Well, I've done my job now, I can go. Thank you, okay. <laughs> and how's the band going? How, how are things here in Box Hill? Um, things are going well, actually, yeah. We've had um, basically a, a complete fresh start at the beginning of this year, and um, that's Bruno over there who's, um, who's playing. Sounding fresh, sounding very sounding fresh. fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not playing with the band, but it was good to have him here tonight to drink our beer, yeah. <laughs> I know things have been going really well, and um, you've probably already spoken to Chris, and he's mm. filled you in with the fact that he managed to find all these other players that haven't necessarily played in a brass band before. Yeah, and I find that really, really interesting. What would you say to people who are watching this now who haven't ever played in a brass band, but maybe they play, you know, orchestral brass or concert bands, or maybe they play saxophone but want to try out a brass band? Why, what would you tell them if they're thinking about it? I would say give it a go because it, it really is good fun. And look, to be honest with you, um, we have um, one of our, our corner players slash percussion players is, uh, is in fact a saxophone player. And, uh, is there a stigma attached to that, or he's welcomed with open arms? Oh no, welcome with open arms, because he does play the cornet, and he plays the baritone, and he plays the tuba. He plays the bassoon too, uh, and the oboe, and pretty much anything. He's one of those sort of James Morrison kind of characters. It's frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. So much talent. Yeah. Doesn't quite make the same money, but uh, but no, he's uh, he's great, and he, he loves being in the band, and it's great to have him, uh, him in helping us out. Uh, but I, honestly, I think that... People should give it a go, and uh, you never know until you try it. And it's a, it's a lot of fun, and I think probably the the best part of it, apart from the music, of course, is the uh, the, the social aspect as well. And uh, just want to pan around and have a look at the social the social aspect. Very social here, <laughs> Fox Hill City Band. And tell me a little bit more. Uh, do you have any expectations going into the competition? Are you are you in it to win it? Do you, will you walk off stage feeling happy or sad well, if course, certain things happen? Of course we're in, in it to win it, Tim. Um, and But pretty much what I'm feeling at the moment is that we can walk away from this, this competition and we still have a ban after the competition, then we've ticked all our boxes. The real winners, the real winners there. And do you feel like that's likely at the moment or the bassoonist slash oboist slash saxophone player might have heard that rap and be walking? <laughs> well, it just depends on how much filth we can get on him while we're over in Launceston, I think. We might be able to coerce him into staying a little longer. But honestly, I think that um, the vibe's good. And uh, so we're sort of talking about the States uh, later on in, in right. August. Yep. So put together a rehearsal schedule for that, see what people's availability are like. And um, you know, the fact that we, we haven't um, drawn a lot of players from a lot of other bands at this point means that I think we've got a better chance of keeping people. And honestly, we've just tried to make it enjoyable, still taking our music seriously, of course, 
but uh, but hopefully people will, will find that a reason to stick around. Look, Simon, best of luck to you and the band on stage. I hope nothing goes terribly, terribly wrong and you end up coming out with a band on the other side. And I also hope that you have a good time up there on the stage. I'm Thank sure there are a lot of people out there watching who are very, very encouraged to see that Box Hill Band has been, been on the up and they've been what's going on, but it's good to know that Box Hill is still there and doing it right. We are back and uh, hopefully we're beyond the, the Nationals too. So we're looking forward to it. And thanks for your encouraging words too, Tim. Excellent. A transcendent Box Hill City Band here with their musical director, Mr Simon Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Box Hill City Band just after rehearsal with one of the most famous people in the room right now, Mr John Kelly. John, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. It's a pleasure. Now, please explain your role with the band. What is it? We know people who are in the know with brass bands around Australia know that you're there behind the scenes pushing the band along, but exactly what are your roles with the band at the moment? With this band, it's uh, band manager. So my job is to make sure that all the logistics get taken care of and uh, work with the musical director to put the band together and uh, that's one role that I do. Yep. I'm also the secretary of the uh, incorporated body which means that I also look after all the paperwork, Ooh. all the registrations uh, and permits and mm -hmm. making sure that all the fees are paid. Uh, so <laughs> Yes. And you also have a role in the in the marching as well, is that right? I have a role in the marching in that I'm the drum major. So the most important person? I, yeah, I, uh, in the marching. In the marching yeah. area. In the yes. marching area, perhaps. <laughs> and and uh, we put in many, many hours of marching practice. More than one? Less than one, but <laughs> we still have seven days. Lots of time. To go, Lots to put it together. Mm -hmm. And, and we'll, we'll do credibly, but um, the main focus is on the stage. And how's, how's that going? How's that focus going? You mentioned uh, as band manager, you're sort of helping get the band together. Mm. And it's, we've spoken with Simon, the musical director, sort of saying there's a, it's sort of a new group here. How's it all gelling and getting together at the moment? It, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we had a year off, we didn't compete at all uh, for a year, and we regrouped and we then put this band together for the Nationals. Mainly because if we don't compete this year, we could be put into C grade. And because we love music. And because we love the music. And because yes. we love the music. And we love the test piece. What, what is the test piece in it's B grade? Pen Lee. How does, how's that spelt? P-E-N-L-E-E. -E. As it sounds, that's good. And what what are you playing in the band at the moment? I'm playing uh, the lead third cornet. So the first third cornet. No, I'm actually the second third. Cornet. <laughs> the second. Okay. And um, what what can the loyal viewers out there watching this right now expect from the band up on stage and both both up on stage and out on the street in the march? Well, I think uh, we there are 14 bands in B grade. Mm. I think we. It's the biggest grade. It's the biggest grade. Yeah. It's very competitive. We will be disappointed if we're not in the top half, yep. so seven or better. Okay. In the marching, we probably would like to be in the top three. Mm -hmm. And um, anything better than that. In the socialising stakes, where would you like to be sitting there? In the drinking, we would cream it. We would kill anybody in the <laughs> drinking stakes. We're here. We have that reputation. I can remember 20 years ago being at Ballarat. And a little child saying, well, he might have been a teenager, saying, they're a drinking band. And we felt, yes, thank you. That will, will it's good to know your place sometimes, isn't it? Yes. How long have you been with the band? I've been with the band 30 years, ish. Ish. 30 years. <laughs> and what, what, what have been the highlights dur during that time? Is anything sort of any one particular thing stand out to you? Well, one thing I like at the moment, but it was the way we're going at the moment, we have Boxer City Band. Mm -hmm. We have White Horse Brass mm -hmm. Intermediate Band who will be competing hopefully at Bendigo. The White Horse. The White Horse yeah. Band. Yep. We'll be competing at uh, Bendigo mm -hmm. and uh, separately from Box Hill. We have Academy Brass which is for beginners, complete beginners, Fantastic. little children of uh, six and seven and eight learning from the bottom. And also we aim later this year or early next year to start an academy of percussion. Fantastic, about time someone did that. Ford, who's a wonderful percussion player, training 10 kids at a time to play percussion and doing that on a 
continuous basis. So p- producing a lot of percussion players. Well, there you have it, loyal viewers. What a great asset to the musical world here in Victoria and Australia and a great asset to the local community, Box Hill City Band. John Kelly, thanks for having a chat. It's your, your pleasure. <laughs> it definitely is. Thank you. <laughs>